everybody. Today we are doing some compositing. And we're gonna talk about masking your character. Now in Harmony there's many ways to mask your characters and here are the nodes that I use the most to mask my character. So we have the grayscale, the RGB difference keyer, and the cutter. Now they're all very useful but mostly for different things. So I have four different candidates here. We have a very normal drawing, some black and white art, Harmony's default uh, gradient node, and we have some green screen image that I took from Google. Did not paint that. All right, so first I will show you, uh, you can mask anything with just a drawing that you have. Just insert it in a cutter, correct? This is like basic masking 101. Double click to change that. But where it gets interesting is that you can actually use the values in an image to mask your character. So if I take this black and white image that I drew, there are some values that are white, some values are black, and when they merge together, they create some gray areas. Um, so now if I connect this to my cutter, I get the same result as any art I would put in. But if you would get this very useful node that is called a grayscale, you can do something more. So grayscale, just to show you, it will put anything in black and white. You can also change the intensity of how much grayscale it is. But the very useful thing is the matte output. So if you press on matte output, it will create a black and white uh, alpha of your image. So let me show you the new result. So I have this image, but if I connect the grayscale with the matte output to my black and white image, now I have the values that are affecting my image. Now I had this uh, black and white drawing that will not be affected by the matte output. So this is very useful and it's opening a whole new door of possibilities for you. So instead of using a black and white image that I drew, since you know how lazy I am, I will use Harmony's default gradients in lots of situations because it already offers me some black and white uh, color options. So if I connect this to my grayscale and then to my cutter and set it to math output, you'll be able to have the black and white information of your gradient affecting your character. Last thing I have to show you today is how to work with a colored image. So sometimes you will work with some green screen elements. Either it's you in front of a green screen or just something you take out of a bank online. Uh, if I connect this to my cutter, um, nothing will really happen. I can connect it to a grayscale and get the black to disappear, but it's not perfect. It's not meant for that. What you want to use is actually the RGB difference keyer. If I go here, you get into the little black box there and you just click on the color you want to remove. And then I say again, it needs to be a color. Black is not a color. It's not going to work. You need to get your green out. Uh, if you have a very low quality image like I do, uh, you can still work with it by uh, going inside the spell reduction uh, settings to remove uh, anything that is not beautiful with your um, mat. All right, so that's it. I hope you will use all these useful tools uh, to create some very cool things. You see, now I, uh, my, the thing I removed, if I put it in my cutter, I can get some really cool thing. Now, of course, these are just static images because it's quicker to render. But if you want to use uh, video footage that is either black and white or green or anything, you can also use that with videos. It works just the same. So I hope you had fun and that this will be useful for all of you. And with that, have a wonderful day.